Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we're going to go through the Turtles of Grayskull Skeletor. Bit late to the game with this one. But I believe this guy all glows in the dark as well with all the armor and also his accessories. Let's just go through the card art at the actual back. You've got him there fighting with Donatello. Looks as though his little Havoc staff, it's on like, kind of like the ball and chain, looking like there. I've just noticed there you've got the other turtles in the background, you've got Beastman there as well. Cross cell at the bottom, nothing wrote over it, but then obviously the other figures that I've previously reviewed in this wave. So without further ado, let's crack this guy open, have a little closer look. So getting him out of the box, you have got him with this like lighter, like he's more lilac than blue, to be fair. These little bracer things, these just slot straight off and he's got the usual little silver gauntlets that we've seen on the Origins there as well. The head, it's like a beast man so with the, yeah, the, the helmet it's all moulded up onto it it's still all modular the head pops off the arm pops off waist the actual by the um, by the boot cuff there they're all like I've seen I think you can quote me if I'm wrong but I'm think it's all like being reusable parts as them. Shin braces, are they off um, Fango, I think? They may be. But like I say, I know these all glow in the dark. He comes with this cloak. Now I think he-Man and Leonardo the new releases is it going to be is it 5 already I think way 5 not too sure but I think they they've got that type of flexible type of cape going on there like ratty cape let's just pop his head off and slot that back on so yeah this like little skirt thing going on that has been reused for Beastman. The helmet though wasn't. So but I'm sure I must be getting confused with something else there. It kinda looks like Beastman, but this is moulded straight on. He comes with this, like I say, it's like the Havoc staff but adapted it's got these big spikes on the end quite flexible chain in the middle there so he's got his little gripper hands going on let's have a little look one can slot in there one can also slot in there as well now he comes with also a little mutagen ooze Mine's got a bit of a wonk on it, but a bit of hot water should rectify that. I mean, you can see that little thing, that's going up the hoover sometime soon. Never to be seen again, it's that small. <laughs> but it will just slot in his hand also. Now we know all these are all modular, so you'll just see me pop the head off. The arm comes off, waist pops off and they twist as well. Arms 360, bend at the elbow, pivot on the actual hand, head pivots, legs splay out back and forth, bendable knee, twist at the boot cuff and the foot is also on a pivot. I want I'm just going to root out another Skeletor head just to see what this looks like 
but uh, I've got a couple of spare heads going on, a couple of different colours. So you've got like the darker, more navy hood to pop on there. Not too sure about that one, it's just too dark. And then this is more the lighter colour one. Kind of, I suppose. I don't think I've got one light enough that would match. Now, just had a look at this Stranger Things Skeletor, but that's still quite dark. I wish it had an alternate head, really, or this helmet came off. So I ended up getting one of those spare heads and just quickly going over it with a black sharpie pen. I think that head, although I've made a little bit of a boo-boo, I'll have to try and get that bit off there. But I do think that looks even better than the one it came with. Let me know your thoughts, guys. But there he is, guys, my little cheeky review of the turtle Skeletor. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. What do you think of it? Like I say, I wish it was a bit darker, I would just switch these lights on, but these definitely all do glow up in the dark, all these green features on them. While you're there dropping those comments, do the usual, but like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in, and I'll see you on the next. Take care.